guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's your girl precious and i'm back again with another video and my new series on entrepreneurship if you have been struggling in business if you have been looking to start that business or if you feel like you have got no ideas this one this one you'll get something to show for you we're going to be having fun fun guests and yeah so for the first guest welcome thank you <laughs> i don't know how you feel to be here <laughs> Nice. It feels nice. Okay, no, mm -hmm. I'll let you introduce yourself. Okay. Mm, okay, my name is um, Tale. So, Princess and I know each other from the <laughs> So, I was about to say my name is Dikones. <laughs> but my name is Dikones. <laughs> right. Okay, my name is Tale. Um, Tale Katongo Mutemo. Um, so, I am a wife, I am a mother, I am an entrepreneur, so I'm an interior designer. So that's like profession, right? What I do, my business space, interior design. So um, I co-own a company with my husband. He's he's a dormant uh well shareholder. <laughs> <laughs> I do all the work. <laughs> but anyway. <laughs> yes, but yes, we co-own. I'm sure he throws me a few ideas. He does, here and there. he does. Spread you know, ideas, planning, mm. but the work work. It's <laughs> me. <laughs> <laughs> and the money, he throws in the money as well. <laughs> Most important. <laughs> yes. So yes, I'm an entrepreneur. I'm an interior designer. Um, and then we own this company. The name of the company is Eminent Interiors Limited. You can check it out on Facebook, Instagram. That's where we are. Yes, that's where we're most active. Yeah. So that's about me. Actually, recently saw that you just like registered your business officially and renamed it because before it was, I think, Mutale's Interior Devil Hub. So, congratulations thank on you. that. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. The first time I heard that you're doing interior designing, I was fascinated because you're the first interior designer who I met in real life. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. So, I was so fascinated that I remember asking her a lot of questions. So, it's such an honor. How, how did you start your business? Like, because I'm, I'm very aware that you're by Unga. Yes. I don't know what you were studying. Did you? I also don't know. I forgot it. <laughs> Is that serious? Yes. yes. How did you go from a degree to okay. interior designing? Okay. Yes. So I was at Unza. I was in the School of Humanities. I did public admin. Oh. Public okay. administration was my major. And my mind was political science. Mm -hmm. So I have a bachelor bachelor of arts degree. Okay. Is it related to your? It's not related to your current. No, it's not related. The the real the real story okay so I was about to give the short of it but like the complete story mm -hmm. is that I was at a I believe it was a good idea mm -hmm. so like you I had not met any interior design but for me I had not, never even heard of it or seen any interior design on the internet like everything I I didn't know mm -hmm. about it right oh I remember I was praying at a particular point in my life. Mm -hmm for god to to come through for me mm -hmm. because at some point i was really looking for i was looking for a job i think i looked for so many jobs mm -hmm. and i looked for paid jobs and free jobs <laughs> <laughs> even free ones <laughs> <laughs> even free ones yes mm -hmm. and you know like uh, when, when someone is giving a story and they're saying you know i was looking for a job and everything and then i ended up doing what i'm doing it it usually sounds like okay so this is a plan b yeah you know so you should actually not be in this you mm -hmm. know sometimes it will sound like that mm -hmm. but then it's it's it can be a reroute mm -hmm. not a plan b because i don't feel like i'm in a plan b yeah. i actually it's really it's a privilege mm -hmm. to have found something mm -hmm. that is as good as what i do because I think what I do, what I do is really good. No, it is. You yeah. Check out her page. Really, really good. Yeah, I think it's a good field. Mm -hmm. Um, yeah. So it's good. It's an honor. So I was praying, and then um, it was a few months to our wedding, mm -hmm. and I remember I just got there. This is how I knew it was divine. Was because I was from praying and fasting mm -hmm. for God to come through for me and everything, and. This idea just popped up in my mind. I didn't have a dream or I didn't get a word or anything. It just came like that. Because I just thought, okay, I see a lot of um, good homes on Pinterest. Because then I was already like, you know, getting inspos from Pinterest. You know, where they, they are looking at like hairstyles, mm -hmm. all those things. So 
I used to bump into like really, really well done homes. Mm -hmm. So I always wondered how they do it. So I thought, let me start watching YouTube videos. Mm -hmm. And then I found that this is actually a profession. People do this professionally. People yeah. go to study. Mm -hmm. They study degrees. There's, it's a whole world mm -hmm. of knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yes. So from there, I thought, wait, I've never heard of this. My entire childhood, up to this age, <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm sure a lot of people don't know about it. So I thought I'll start posting um, just tips mm -hmm. on this whole thing when I learn. Mm -hmm. I'll start learning, then as I learn, I'll be sharing. And eventually, I, I thought, and I, I think I kind of knew that I won't get clients. Mm -hmm. needed. I thought, if I don't know, if everyone in my circle has never talked about it, yeah. then it must be like, it's, in Zambia, it, it, I don't think it's there. Mm -hmm. So I did manage my expectations in that I didn't think it was going to be like instant business. Wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that's how it started. I love your journey. I think one thing that I've picked from it is how you were praying about it, number one. Mm -hmm. And so many times when we're praying for God to for a job you expect okay yeah. someone who you apply to two years ago that's when they're responding but here is you getting a response and another thing that brings me to another question mm -hmm. so has there been any point in your journey where you regret and you feel you already say that you don't feel like it's a plan b but is there any point where you've regretted going to school to study public administration is there any point where you said ah, i should have gone to the should have studied this area no maybe if i were born in another country <laughs> Zambia. I mean, if I was born in the US, mm -hmm. where where like interior design is a huge industry, yes. then I would have wished mm -hmm. that I wish I studied in the, uh, interior design because I would have known about it. Yeah. But being here, I feel like it's a privilege. Yeah. Because even um, I get so many people DMing me, mm -hmm. people who want to quote unquote intern. Can I just work for free wow. because I want to learn and everything? Wow. So I know just how much people see it on the outside mm -hmm. and how much they want it. Mm -hmm. So even having known, known it now mm -hmm. at my age, mm -hmm. I think it's a privilege being in this country mm -hmm. and having known it when I knew it. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. well, that makes sense. Another thing that I picked from what you said is I like how you started. You had a plan. Mm -hmm. And so many times and you say that you learned as you went. Mm -hmm. Like not many people do that people are like hey, i want to have everything yeah. so i wanted to ask i like how you said you started with costing tips yes. so did you have like a certain amount of capital like i've put this for this way just gradually like how did you like how did you gain the customer base okay. in this business so one thing i knew was that this is a this was a service business mm -hmm. and at first i actually thought you don't need any capital for a service business mm -hmm. it's a lie mm -hmm. but uh then it was it was good that i started the way i started so I was, it, capital was never on my mind. Okay. No, it wasn't on my mind. What I knew was that I needed to learn this skill. Yeah. And I, from watching so many YouTube videos, I knew that interior design is not something you can learn in one week. Mm -hmm. No. You, even if you crumbed all the YouTube videos, you can crumb. Yeah. No, you can't learn it. So that's why I even put this difference, right? Mm -hmm. um, it looks easy. Um, and sometimes we mistake, there are certain professions or certain things we see people do and we mistake them for maybe if we say someone do like a really good events table and we think they can do interior design. Mm -hmm. No, they can't do interior design wow. because interior design is really big. Imagine you are uh, studying to be a doctor, you are a doctor. Mm -hmm. So imagine me who has an idea about gun, <laughs> yeah. I have an idea about what then do, and then me, I come and say, ah, this doctor thing, I think even me, I can advise someone. Mm -hmm. Or I, I, I knew that I needed to learn this thing. Mm -hmm. You know, interior design is like if you are self taught, mm -hmm. um, the more you know, the more you realize that you don't know. Yeah. <laughs> it's like that. Mm -hmm. So, anyone I think who's ever gotten on a journey to self learn anything. Like maybe they want to learn coding or anything. I think most of the people can attest to the fact that when you know one thing, then you realize how much you don't know. And then sometimes that feeling, it can be overwhelming. Because you're like, ah, when will I ever reach? Yeah. When will I ever know all these things? Yeah. Yeah. That is how interior design was for me in the beginning. But I just took it uh, one step at a time. That, to be honest, I used to feel overwhelmed. I used to feel like, will I ever, will I ever become... Mm -hmm. An expert, and I, 
I'll say it here first. Mm -hmm. uh, except for a few people I've told, I'm actually studying interior design. Wow. Yes, I'm studying interior design uh, at the Interior Design Institute of South Africa. Mm -hmm. So it's an online school. Wow. It's a diploma. Mm -hmm. So. That's I mean, people actually study interior design. Yes, you people there so are degrees in interior design. That aesthetically pleases you. Mm -hmm. It comes at a cost. <laughs> yeah. No, that's event. So there's a difference. There's interior decor mm -hmm. and there's interior design. Mm -hmm. So with interior design, you have to start like that's what I was saying. In places like uh, develop more developed countries, mm -hmm. where they've gone past the the basic needs yeah. like of people, you know, the shelter, the food, and blah blah. blah. At least they, you know, they're able to to meet most of those things. They now move into now the luxuries. Mm -hmm. So all these like um. The Dubai, the UA, I mean, Western world, mm -hmm. Europe, mm -hmm. um, Asia, all these countries. It's even Nigeria. I think there are a lot of interior designers in Nigeria, mm -hmm. in Kenya as well. Mm -hmm. That's uh, talking of Africa, in Uganda. Mm -hmm. there are a lot, South Africa mm -hmm. has a lot of interior designers and they respect. And interior design, they started from before construction. Mm -hmm. So the architect makes the plan. The interior design designer comes in, and then okay. that's really how it goes. Yeah. Don't you have an empty room? So I'll take it. But that's time. just the surface. That's just the surface. Yes. I think I've that's seen, the easy part. I've seen some of the things you post on your page, and I realize I'm like, okay, so interior design doesn't start like you have an empty room, an empty house, and you're like, come and design it for me. It's yeah. way deeper than that. Yeah. But I'll take you back to your customer base as you started oh, your okay, business. Okay, okay. Yes. Was it something that? You saw people from your from actually posting the tips and post like coming. Was it like a fast place? Because you know mm -hmm. today's generation we, we are called the microwave generation. You want yeah. things like chip chop, yeah, chip chop, chip chop. No, it wasn't. Um, it wasn't okay. It was uh, how can I put it? I got like clients on what's the English? Um, I didn't get them. If you're selling clothes, mm -hmm. if you post, you're selling shoes, you're going to get quick clients, fast, fast. Mm -hmm. So advice. Mm -hmm. But if you're going to do maybe what type of business, so, uh, maybe what type of business requires like a lot of interior design itself. If you're going to go an interior designer, you already need to have a budget mm -hmm. for furniture mm -hmm. or for furnishings or for construction. Mm -hmm. So you see, mm -hmm. it's not going to be like just a quick, quick like clothes and shoes. Mm -hmm. There's a whole lot. So you need to have your own budget and you need to have um like design fees mm -hmm. for that interior designer right mm -hmm. yes. so um i think like my first client was a consultation client mm -hmm. and i remember they uh, i did like i learned ish i think i can never forget i learned 3d design on like gunshots <laughs> <laughs> Some things are better left than gunshot. <laughs> yes, because there was no way I think I was going to gather the courage yeah. to do it. That's so true. Yes. So because I had a client, I didn't even expect that client. She was a big client mm -hmm. that I just got through someone. Mm -hmm. So I needed to like it needed I needed to, to do together. Yes, I needed to put myself together. <laughs> yeah. So I remember texting someone what uh, softwares are there for interior design. So they gave me like this is the simpler ones and all. And I just went in. Wow. <laughs> wow. I didn't even know rendering. I didn't. In fact, the first design was not rendered. I don't know if you. Those who know who are the We are not. What rendering is. But yeah. it was just raw. It was raw. So, I mean, I did it. And then I've just kept improving, like learning. I think it's taken time. That's the honest truth. That's the honest truth. Though. Yeah. You need a customer base. Yes. So you talked about. So this is the thing. When you are learning a skill and at the same time building a business in that skill, you see how crazy that is. You don't really know what you're doing. <laughs> you don't know what you're doing, and yet you you aspire to build a business in that same thing if you don't know what you're doing. Mm -hmm. So you go slow. Not because you in fact want to go slow, but because you're not yet confident, mm -hmm. you know. So you post here and there, people get to know about you, and people at church always mm -hmm. they still to today share my stuff. Mm -hmm. So it's always helped. Yeah. Yes. They don't they may not buy, mm -hmm. but they'll share. Share guys. Yes. Share businesses. Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. And then another thing that I'll say, like okay, building a customer base up to where we are is just social media. And investing in your social media marketing, mm -hmm. I did. I think I would have grown faster if I knew 
if I don't know if I say if I knew or if I didn't have cars or those balls, huh? <laughs> sponsored balls. I don't know. People, people say bad things about them, but they actually work. Yes. <laughs> they actually work. No, they really do. People I say feel like money. if they have disadvantages, they have more advantages than yes. they do. Then um, they don't have advantages. Yes. That's very true. Yes. It actually markets your business. Right? Yes, very, very much. Good. So being on the right platforms, mm -hmm. platform plus platforms, mm -hmm. really helps. Like for me, Instagram is like my main where I get most of my clients. Mm -hmm. So it depends. If your business is like needs fast, fast sales, mm -hmm. you're selling handbags or you're selling clothes, dresses, mm -hmm. you may need like fast, fast you know, uh, excuse me, uh, sales, maybe like Facebook, maybe, maybe the one for you, which mm -hmm. can work. Mm -hmm. Maybe TikTok, maybe the one mm -hmm. which can work for you, mm -hmm. but you have to know your platform. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. And you have to, you can't be lazy. I don't know. No, you can't. With you have to be consistent. consistent. I consistent. Like, I feel like, um, what you're asking about customer base, mm -hmm. people just post one day and they think, I'm not getting oh, they take it personal. Like people don't like me. They don't like my stuff. I think I'm going to stop. You. Yeah, <laughs> but the thing is, you can't be like that. No. Learn the app. Mm -hmm. Learn what you need to do right. Mm -hmm. Ask them. Ask the right question, not the wrong ones. Mm -hmm. Like why me? Ask how can it be me, baby? <laughs> like you need to have the right mindset. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, moving on to the next question. I remember you said that you were praying towards your wedding. So mm. you've got a degree. Yes. You've come from the university. Everybody's like, oh, she's going to get employed. Something. And then on the man, then you just walk out of the closet like, guys, I'm going to be an interior designer. What were, what were the reactions? It was not like, like that. that. No, it wasn't like that, actually. <laughs> oh, it wasn't like, I, wa I really wanted a job. <laughs> I wanted to be in a job. It's mm -hmm. safe. Yes, it is. It's it's it's. I mean, at a, in a job, they will pay you. Mm -hmm. Like you get paid. It's nice mm -hmm. <laughs> being in a job, mm -hmm. but I think I just later got to realize that there's so many things about me mm -hmm. that that make me a good business person. Mm -hmm. Things I've always had. So you have to know yourself. Yes. Mm -hmm. So I think. I, it, what's the word like it's not you if you if you've paid attention to what i'm saying i've not said anything like i can never get a job or jobs are not for me or anything like that it's it, actually it's not like that at all it wasn't planned mm -hmm. no it was i just took it one step at a time i think so i never made up my mind even when i was starting to post yeah i never made up my mind right there and then to become uh, a business person no oh, i didn't okay. so it was it was you slowly got into it now yes Yes, okay. I did. So I actually was in a job before that. So I was looking for another job. Another job. Yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. So what have been like your what what have been your challenges so far in terms of business? And in connecting to that, I think there are moments where business does not go the way you expect. What kept you going through those challenging moments? Let me answer what the <laughs> challenge is. <laughs> challenge yes. number one is ignorance. <laughs> No, I can that one. You can, eh? Yeah, I can do that yes. one. The type of business you're doing. Yes. Mm -hmm. Challenge number one. Look, it's a it's a struggle. Mm -hmm. Um, I guess you also, as well as myself, I've never been to business school. Mm -hmm. no. You see, learning on the job. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel like people don't understand. That's why we say it's hard. I've stopped. Uh, because we don't understand that business is a career. Wow. Yes. So you can't learn a career. No, no. You have to be humble mm -hmm. and start. You have to become a student of business mm -hmm. while you are in business. Mm -hmm. Yes. If you are not a student of business, then um, you are not going to. You are going to have the wrong expectations. Mm -hmm. That's one. And then you are going to come out bruised, maybe heartbroken. <laughs> I'm traumatized. Never again. <laughs> yes. So if you have a learning mindset, it's easier. Mm -hmm. So if you take it slowly, mm -hmm. I was advising someone who came to me and they said they want to open like a business. Okay, they said they want to start a salaola business. They want to get balance. I told them, when you get this, I think that was their first time ever mm -hmm. starting a business in their life. Mm -hmm. So I told them, don't have 
high, very high expectations mm -hmm. that when I buy this below, I'm going to sell like at least 90% or I'm going to make all this money. Mm -hmm. So I, I advise you to take this as your tuition. Yeah. <laughs> take it, no, don't, like, don't be slow about it. Don't be lazy about it. Put but in all your effort, yes, but your take, yes, and take every lesson. Mm. And every time something happens that you didn't expect, ask yourself why. So, one thing I've gotten from your journey mm. is patience. You've had to have a lot of patience. Mm. Like, I'm actually very amazed. My first time actually hearing how this business started. But I just want to ask, what has kept you going? Because when we're talking about being in the trap of a dance, it's like this yeah, is not working, exactly. and I've been victim to that. So, like, yeah. what has kept you going? Even in the times where I'm sure you've gone maybe a month, no client has come up. Like, what has kept you going? Um, hope. Okay. Yes. I'll, I'll refer to a sermon mm -hmm. uh, or something that Pastor, Senior Pastor Daniel, my mm -hmm. pastor, says. He says, Hope is a, it's a shock absorber. So where where you know you are feeling delayed, mm -hmm. just the fact that you have hope, mm -hmm. it's a sign of life. It's a sign of a good future. It's a sign of a better future. Mm -hmm. So I think that hope, and I think I've always had a picture in my in my soul, in my spirit. Mm -hmm. I've always believed in the business. Wow. I think yeah, that's what I'm trying to say. Mm -hmm. I have always believed in it. So people who I, I talk to um, frequently, mm -hmm. I think even maybe two, three years ago, I would be talking about the business and they say, okay, business is going, is not going well and all. I would always say, ah, but it's going to be, it's going to get, it's going to be okay in the future. Because mm -hmm. I always thought it's going to be big. Mm -hmm. I didn't know how, but I just thought, I just saw the picture. I just still see the picture. Mm -hmm. I just think it's going to be big. Oh, and it's, it's going to be big. I think you recently opened a workshop where she now like produces your own mirrors mm -hmm. and frames. Yes. And I remember for a long time she was looking for where to find frames. And then when she yeah. opened the workshop, I was like, I think this is about being a problem solver. So yes. that was you solving a problem. Which takes me to the next question. She's also a pastor's wife. She didn't mention that. Among many other things, she's a deaconess in church. So meaning that she's got home duties, mm -hmm. she's got a beautiful daughter, mm -hmm. she's got <laughs> church duties, um, wife, mm -hmm. business. Like, how do you juggle everything? Like, how do you not... Because we see you every Sunday, you're smiling. <laughs> how do you not get overwhelmed? Yeah, I do not smile, my man. <laughs> as long as I'm still alive, I just have to be happy. I think it's just doing um doing the right thing at the right time by okay. the right thing okay. i mean if you there's a temptation to always just be going about you know business because when you are the when you're working in the business there's a phase in business where you have to work in the business and i'm working in the business mm. so you're building the business you're building the systems mm. you are trying to like perfect these pro products and uh, standardize them the standard of excellence that you want and uh, all these things there is always this temptation to just keep going on and on and on and it's not easy at the beginning of the business honestly mm -hmm. it's not easy uh plus i mean of course you've mentioned like all these other things but you have to create time and you have to you have to make a commitment mm -hmm. to some of the other things that you have to do mm -hmm. so if you if you have to make a commitment to say okay at this time I'm going to post this, you know, at this time I'm going to call this person, or at this time I'm going to do this. You just have to, you have to be committed and you have to, what's the word, like meet, like meet up to those commitments that you've made. It's not like you're making them to yourself. You are make, you, ha you just have to make them and make sure that you fulfill them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then you need help as well. Mm -hmm. Being an entrepreneur is a, it's a full, it's a full life. It's a full job. Yeah, I think you've heard of those jokes that um, you used to hate having a nine to five, but now you work <laughs> up to twenty-four <laughs> seven. Twenty four seven. <laughs> yeah. Like oh when I stop my nine to five, you know, yeah. you're exercising or be doing this. But then it just it becomes more like a lot of especially at the beginning of you the never business. Knock off. 
no you never knock off yeah. and that's how come you have to find like you set boundaries like i can't respond at this time mm. and it's okay but sometimes mm. we always think i don't do this like i'll probably not make this sale and all yeah. you can always send a reply to say thank you for messaging us i'll respond earliest first thing in the morning mm. that's still okay that's still a response mm. or you can always set you have to set a day to rest like for me i don't work on saturdays mm. there is a temptation because of the the kind of work that we do mm. but i just don't work i just we work the workshop is working the guys but i don't want to work i oh. don't work oh. yes and i think that's healthy yeah yeah Yeah, I I totally believe that when you put so many hours and you just want to keep up going, you feel bad to burn to burn out. Yes. So I definitely yeah. give that one about trust. Just want one lesson as mm. we close the video. One lesson that you've learned from business. The one lesson I can give: you have to be on your feet. Mm. I know, don't be lazy, blah 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 blah. But you have to be obsessed. Mm -hmm. with your business or solving that particular problem that you are solving mm -hmm. or if you find yourself challenged in one way or the other in your business instead of think you need to have a, a, a the right mindset in business mm -hmm. instead of thinking like I was saying why me mm -hmm. think of how can it be me mm -hmm. like you need to always have a pull i mean maybe it's not possible to always have but bounce back mm -hmm. you know you may have you may have a depressive a moment you may feel bad but i can promise you business is filled with lessons you yeah. know so many lessons yeah. and you may not have the time to read all the business books that are there in the world mm -hmm. but i can promise you that there's nothing new under the sun of course just like the bible says mm -hmm. and since you may not have the time to study all these things mm -hmm. you have to be open to learning from the business mm -hmm. and when something happens that you didn't expect mm -hmm. be open to understanding how did it happen what happened how can i do better what can i do next time how can i solve this problem there are always solutions mm -hmm. that's the fact and that is how you are going to last in business that's how you are going to stay for years and for a really long time this interview is like was a part one and then that but as i said thank you so much for coming and sharing gems i think we've opened something thank you it's possible so we have a part two but mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming. <laughs> Thank you so much for having me. Um I really like this of enjoying it. Really. Yeah. Anyway, guys, please watch out for the next one. There's going to be fire fire episodes coming, more and more guests and we'll see you guys in the next one. Please subscribe, share, comment.